Good morning, lemon squeezies. Say that a mother and pinky. Oh, she's eating scrambled eggs. Good morning. Close enough. Um, so yeah, it's ain't that a mother and pinky. Um, we're recording from our kitchen this morning just to have a change of scenery. Um, we didn't do a nine month update, so this is kind of going to be a nine and a ten month update. Um, so um, a lot's been going on with us lately. Um, pinky has two teeth now, and she's attempting to walk. Um, she hasn't really made her first step on her own yet. Um, she just kind of stiffens her body up, but she will stand up for a really long time. She stands on the bed with her hands in the air. Um, what else is going on? Teething was really bad for us last month. That's why you guys haven't heard from us. Um, she had a really high fever. She had diarrhea and blowouts, and she wasn't sleeping well at night. We were both up all night. Um, then I got sick. I got a really bad sinus infection, and then she caught a cold. And it was just one thing after another there for a while. So we've been kind of out of the loop. Um, but everybody's feeling better now. And um, let's see what else is going on. Getting ready for Easter. She has a really pretty dress. And I'm going to paint her. I love my dress. Um, I'm going to paint her nails. And we're going to go to church. Um, and then we're going to go to Easter egg hunt. And she's going to do some egg dyeing and stuff with her cousins and her aunts. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Also getting ready for her birthday party, which is coming up. That's going to be the first week in June. Um, Pop's birthday is tomorrow. So we're going to be going to, um, Landry's, which is our favorite restaurant here in the city. Um, it's out on Lake Pontchartrain and all the boats go by and it's just beautiful out there. Last time we were out there, they had a uh, alligator that had climbed up the dock and people were throwing food over, feeding him and stuff like that. So that'll be fun. Uh, let's see. She's not really using her walker as much as I would like her to, but I take her out on the driveway. Um, we live on a dead end, so um, on the driveway it's kind of a little bit of a slant, and it's a little bit easier for her to get it moving. Um, so we do that pretty much every day. I take her out in her walker. Um, we get out a lot more. I take her to the park. We go to the store. Um, we go visit my sister. Uh, so we've been getting out the house a lot more instead of just sitting inside. Let's see what else has been going on. Her hair is really growing. Um, she's becoming very independent. Um, it's probably going to be time to start weaning her soon. Um, I talked to her doctor about that and he said that she may want something sweet. Um, so he said I might want to try like some, some strawberry milk or some chocolate milk or something like that. Um, but I don't really want to give her all the extra sugar. So I may just give her like some almond milk or something like that. So I'm thinking about starting her on almond milk this week and see how that does. I think she might be a little lactose too. So that'll help with that. Um, she's not really feeling baby food anymore. Uh, last night she ate a jar of peaches right before bed. Um, but for the most part opening a jar of baby food I might as well just open it and throw it in the trash she'll take a couple bites out of it and then she won't want it anymore um let's see what else uh, she's talking a lot more she says mom she says no stop uh, get as in get off me or get out my face um we're working on getting her to say mamu which is what she calls pop um, but so far no luck uh, she waves hello and goodbye um, she holds the phone, the remote, her hand, anything goes up to her ear and she goes, hello, hello. Um, she definitely likes table food. Um, I've been using her baby bullet a lot lately and whatever we have for dinner, I blend up for her and she's had spaghetti and meatballs. She's had, um, uh, like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um. Pot roast, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Pot roast, mashed potatoes, green beans, biscuits. Um, she had shrimp fried rice the other night. Um, so pretty much anything we have for dinner, she eats with us now. Let's see what else. Still cloth diapering. That's going well. Um, since our last video, though, I have changed laundry detergent. I'm no longer using the all free and clear. Um, she had gotten a really bad rash around Mardi Gras time. And um, I wasn't really sure what it was, and it was pretty bad. Um, so I just kind of reevaluated everything to try to figure out what it was. So I went down to Zuka Baby, 
and I got some um, rocking green which is awesome I absolutely loves it I, I loves it I loves it um, I absolutely love that um, it feels really good like after touching the same diapers fresh out the wash for so long I can definitely tell a difference in the texture of the diapers they seem softer and they feel cleaner in my hand um, and because it's a natural fragrance I was able to get something that scented which it doesn't really smell like anything once it comes out the wash but the laundry detergent itself smells really good so I got the um, smashing watermelons um, and I also got the uh, rock the funk which is like basically their um, their version of a stripper so I use that um, whenever her diapers start to smell too ammonia <coughs> like too much like ammonia I'll um, soak them in the strip for um, anywhere between a half hour to 60 minutes and then you just go through a regular wash cycle um, with the rock and green so I use that now um, and I also got um, a type of diaper rash cream called mother's love and it's ten dollars for a little bitty jar but I've been using it for about a month and a half now and it's really really good it cleared her rash up within a day after um, going down there um, so I've been using that and I also invested in some disposable diaper liners, which I've recently run out of. So I've been using my cloth liners again. Um, and I haven't noticed any problems with those or anything, but I just totally reevaluated my whole cloth diapering process to figure out what was going on with that rash. It hasn't come back since. Um, but as far as treating it, I was doing a lot of like baking soda baths and stuff like that. Um, for her teething. Um, she was quite miserable there for a while so um, like I said she had a fever and everything I was giving her cool baths and um, something told me to go get her some popsicles which again I didn't want her to have all the sugar so I kind of like just walked around in Walgreens until I came up with this idea of the Pedialyte um, popsicles and um, you know with her having diarrhea and all that kind of stuff I wanted to make sure she was nice and hydrated so I got those they were a little on the pricey side but totally worth it she loved them it was less sugar kept her nice and hydrated kept her temperature down stuff like that and I also was alternating between the Motrin and um, the baby Tylenol um, so that she wouldn't get immune to it but I tried not to give it to her too much usually I was only giving it to her maybe once or twice a day um, but it worked really quickly once I would give it to her about 20 minutes later her temperature would come back down um, Let's see what else she's been watching her preschool prep videos, which she absolutely loves. Um, she loves the ABC song um, She dances when she hears it. I bought her a little stuffed dinosaur that sings the ABC song and she loves that um, She's just very independent now um, 